Okay, so this is chapter 7, sample problem 4. So let's read it together. A 1,500 kilogram car traveling with a velocity of 15 meters per second plows into a 1,200 kilogram stationary car. During the collision, the two cars lock bumpers and they move together as a unit. What is their common velocity just after impact? Um, let's draw a picture and see if we can figure out what's going on with this one. That might make our lives easier. So here's my, here's my car, right? It's sitting here. And then it says, there's another car. And the first car is just sitting there. So it's initial velocity. Sorry, it's initial. Let's erase, let's erase that. The initial, oops, the initial velocity of this car is zero because it's stationary, right? When you see the word stationary, that means that VI is zero. Um, but this one's moving at 15 meters per second, and it's it's going rather fast, and it's going to hit. So then after, so if we do like a, this is before, and then we do an after, picture. So afterwards, the two cars are going to stick together as one thing, and they're going to move off together at one speed we're going to call VF, right? Because it's not really a one or a two. Oh, we didn't label what this one was. So we could call this one V1I, right? And this one may be V2I because it's two objects. So this is object one and this is object two. And this is object one and this is object two. And so VF, they fly off together, yeah? Okay, so this must be, of course, a sticky, so I don't have a lot of space, so let's, let's do it like this so you can still see through it. So this is a sticky collision. So we're going to label it sticky so we remember that it's, that it's sticky. All right, so it's sticky, and we're going to get going now. So in my given, oops, I keep picking the wrong pen. In my given, I'm going to have V1I is equal to 15 meters per second. And do I know anything else about it? So I have this 15 meters. Oh, look, it's 1,500 kilograms, so that must be M1. So M1 equals 1,500 kilograms kilograms and I know that's mass because it's in kilograms and then the other car right is 1200 so I already have the m1 so let's do m2 is equal to 1200 kilograms great and then we already said that its velocity here was v2 i which was equal to zero it doesn't matter if you say v2 i or v i2 it's a, basically the same thing so that's the stuff that we know Let's see if we can move some things up a little bit here. And then let's write some more. So we're trying to find, oh, what are we trying to find? Oh, we're trying to find this. We want to know how fast they go off together. So we're going to call that VF. We don't have to distinguish between them because they're stuck together, right? They're glued together here. So since they're stuck together, um, I don't need to separate them. And so now my equation, I go and I look and remember I said this was a sticky, right? If you, you see here, I wrote that it was a uh, sticky, right? Here it says sticky collision. So I know that this is a sticky collision. So let's go back over here. And so I find my sticky collision equation and I know, okay, that means it's M1V1I plus, that's an I, M2V2I is equal to m1 plus m2 times vf. <coughs> so it's just <coughs> both of them stuck together. But now I need to solve for vf, right? So I go looking for the vf. Where's the vf? There's the vf. I need that by itself. But I also know that this v2i, this one right here, is zero. So, oh, cool. I'm going to cross that off because that is zero. So I don't even know, worry about it. It makes my math so much easier. And so then to get rid of the m1, m2, this part over here, I'm going to divide, right? So let me move this up a little bit here. Go back to my pen and let's divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by m1 plus m2. So I divide over here, m1 plus m2. Awesome. 
So now I can cross things off and I can say, oh, that crosses off and that crosses off. I can't cross off this and this because in the denominator it's added, so I can't cross off my M1. So it'd be nice if I could, but I can't do that. So then for my solve step, I see I have VF only left on the one side, and then over here I've got, um, on this side over here, I've got M1V1I over M1 plus M2. Awesome. All right, so now we can start plugging in numbers. So when I plug in the numbers, we're going to come over here, and we're going to compute. And so we have VF is equal to, and of course I can't remember what they are, so i got to look. And it says 1,500 and 1,200. So M1 is 1,500. So I've got, oops, I've got 1,500 kilograms times the speed of that thing. And that said, let's see, where is it? V1, oh, 15 meters per second. I see it. So times 15 meters per second. And then it's all divided by, move everything up, move everything up, everything up. It's all divided by M1, which was 1,500 kilograms, plus, of course, you guys probably remember, but I don't. It is 1,200 divided by 1,200 kilograms. So divided by 1,200 kilograms. So then I've got to do the rest of my math. So we'll move this all up. We're going to have to move it up pieces at a time. We'll move that up, and then we'll see if we... Whoa. Okay. Move, move this up, move this up, move this up, move that up. All right, so now we can start plugging things in. And so we see that VF is equal to, and I pull out my calculator. Got to do it carefully because that's the hard part is making sure you don't mess up your math. So 1,500 times 15... The number is 22,500, so 22,500, and that's kilograms, meters per second, nothing cancels. And then divided by 1,500 plus 1,200, and so that is 2,700 kilograms. So, okay, canceling units. So I know kilograms cancel with kilograms, which leaves me as meter per second, which is good because V should be in meters per second. So then I do 22,500 divided by 2,700, and that com comes out to be 8.3. So let's move this up so we can write it. Move all that up, move all that up, move it all up. Oh my goodness, move that one up, that one up. There we go. All right, so we know that it all comes out to be 8.3 meters per second. And now our problem's done.